What happens when three buffoons give life advice, explore unrealistic situations, and give random topics more thought than they probably deserve? It's the Spitballers Podcast with Andy, Mike, and Jason. Beep bop boop bop beep it boop boop ba doop. <laughs> Little bursts. <laughs> I, 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 I'm think in. It, I think it went extinct. <laughs> it's bad. It's no, bad. No longer useful. <laughs> oh, beep. Beep it boop. Beep. All right, welcome in. Boo. Mm, you got to power it out. Oh, okay. You know, yeah. Well, the uh, the show has started. Andy, Mike, and Jason back with you. Uh, Spitballers episode 260, Would You Rather, What's the Difference? And we are drafting extinct technology on today's show, hmm. which should be very fun. Yeah, honestly, just putting this list together was fun to remember all of the things that, like, were really useful, were at times super cool. Core parts of people's lives. Absolutely. And then it's like, what a loser. Thank you. Next. <laughs> yeah. When I think of extinct technology, I can't help but always go to the fact that somebody somewhere had a business and their business was that technology. Mm-hmm. And at some point they got into a room and they said, we're going to be rich forever. Yeah. Business is booming. And oh. we're ne- we're never going anywhere. we We've lived this. <laughs> what are you talking about? We lived this life. We started a business on MySpace. MySpace could be on this list of extinct tech. That's that's really fair. <laughs> but I mean, all like, the, oh the, man, this is gonna last forever. The Radio Shack guy, he said it oh. at one point in time. How but is, how is Best Buy still open? They're you know, doing. They've, I mean, they've good, morphed. Kudos to the Best Buy people because you've done what. No one else has been able to do. They have morphed. They also, the last one lives because uh, somebody is- needs a fine, like you do need a place to physically go get something immediately. And the last one will always live in that department. Okay. That makes you, sense. You got to be able to go get a cable or you got to go get a controller for that day. I figured it was money laundering. That's also one That's of their strategies. a way better idea. Like, for- do, are, do we... Does the mob own Best Buy? Let's just be honest. You know what it is? It's that geek squad. Oh, yeah. Taking advantage of... Oh, taking advantage of people. Yeah. Did I tell... I told you guys that I had to... uh, I was in a Verizon store and I had to... Did I not tell you I had to intervene there? No. You tell this story? Uh Oh, no. You saved someone? I saved somebody. Good Samaritan? I couldn't help myself. Really? I I, And it felt like... It just felt like something... Was it because they were super old? Yes. Okay. It was two old people talking to the Verizon salesperson. I was in line because you're required to be in a line of at least 20 people in a cell phone store. Of course. And I'm sitting there and I am listening to this young lady slash criminal <laughs> talk to these two, this couple that had, they had a hundred dollar cell phone bill when they came in there and they had lost a phone and just wanted to get a new phone. And by the end of this lady's, this, this young lady's speech to this elderly couple who Clearly, like these are the people they take advantage of. Their bill was going to be two hundred forty-two dollars, and mm-hmm. it was going to be, uh, well, you got a new plan, and you got the protection plan, and you got. And she was wrapping all this stuff in there that was too fast for them to understand. By the mercy of the Lord, these two folks were like, "Oh, uh, well, we need to talk to our financial person, and then we'll get back to you." And when they left the store, I walked out of the store, pulled them aside, and explained to them both. I said. You can get whatever you want, but let me tell you, that was a bunch of baloney what she was saying. <laughs> you don't need to do X, wow. Y, and Z. They just wrapping everything into there. So I went full, like, you know, protection. Hey, good for you. Protection zone. All right. Uh, <laughs> I didn't, this that, show is brought to you by Verizon. <laughs> yeah. Well, no. I mean, that's just the nature of all of those. Yes. Geek Squad brought it to mind because if you are older and you go in and you're like, I need my computer fixed. I mean, that's where they make the money. Yeah, look, I worked at a at a T-Mobile uh, before we did this, and and uh, I'd be so mad at you right now. <laughs> like, yeah, that's that my sale, man. Yeah, I think some of the people <laughs> those, in the store knew those what old I was people doing. Were hook, and seeker. Yeah, so there you hey. go. Let's kick it off. Would you rather? Tom from the website writes in says, "Would you rather have to walk, drive?" 
and fly everywhere as you do now. But when you arrive, no time has passed since you left. That would be cool. Okay. Or be able to teleport anywhere. But when you arrive, three times the amount of time has passed as if you had traveled typically. Interesting. So a flight from here to California is an hour and a half an hour and a half so four and a half hours would go by but you've transported there but so you don't feel the four and a half no. hours right you're it's instantly instant. there it's just the time of day it's like a like the, the space travel thing where you people what is the movie interstellar interstellar where like they were on that oh the, the one water planet, planet and all of that time yeah. passed so uh, another example let's think you go to from here to new york six hours five five hours mm -hmm. so it's a 15 hour now, see, a lot of the times when we travel, I think we all consider it a travel day. Yes. I and think so losing that time. That's not the bigger concern. The 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 hmm. the issue is, oh, you're able to, so you don't have to teleport. Because I was thinking like, well, now if, instead, of, instead of driving, which takes me about 20 minutes to get here, now in the morning, I have to leave an hour early. You do have to leave an hour early, but you're here immediately. Yes. That's it. See, those ones are interesting. Yeah, the day the day to day is more interesting because when it comes to like the travel days or whatever, there's no disadvantage to the three times the travel. You're just going to plan the time you leave yeah. three times earlier. It's like, oh, instead of having it take all day, I'm just gonna go at night or whatever, and then boom, bam, it's morning. You know, you you could you would adjust, but it's yeah, the, eighteen. How long does it take to get to Australia? It's that's like a, when like a sixteen hour. At so least. you're you're talking almost uh, two days. Yeah. Now, this isn't just would you like this or not. This is also the other existence is you do all your travel like you do now, but when, oh, you, but get, no when you get there, passed. no time at all has passed. Oh. So, like, you leave okay, for Australia okay. and you you basically, you're like, for example, let's say uh, right now it's about noon. Mm -hmm. Let's say you see on, uh, you see at one o'clock in Australia, there's a really good rugby game that you want to go to. Mm. You could get there. Right? Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, you, uh, you got a book. Spot, I, know, right? I know. But I know what you're but saying. Like, that's why I, told, I, mean, I said an hour. Yeah, but, you gave a little bit of. Yeah, but I mean, like, you want to get uh, did, you want to get dinner in France right now. You could do it. Yeah. Five hours from now because you, it travels instant. Right, but you're still, your time. You still got to pay for that travel. Travel to France. Oh, but yeah, you don't have to pay for teleportation, huh? No. No, um, you don't. If you could teleport, that's that's me. That's no me. ticket. Now, can you bring people with you on a teleportation? I was, I was just going to ask, what are the teleportation rules? Because it's if they're touching it's, you, it's fuzzy. But yeah, some canon has I like don't. if you are holding the if you are physically in contact with that person, they go through whatever realm. Or seems you, like an important do. thing it, to answer because yeah, you it, yeah. being able to teleport All right, by children, yourself. Link hands. <laughs> now we don't that, let or, go. Or all right, kids. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> yeah. Well, that means you could go somewhere and come back, and no time has passed. Essentially. Yeah. If well, you have to drive there. Well, I'm yeah, but like you, like if you wanted to go get a, a baguette from France and then bring it back, it might take I mean, you like half an hour. A nice thing is, basically, you're never late anywhere. Right. Never. Because you're like you just got to leave by the time you got to be. You there. just have to yeah. commit to leaving. Yeah. Which that's that's pretty nice. You don't have to do the text. Where are you? Oh, I'm almost uh, there. I'm, yeah. As I'm getting into my car. You would never have to rush. Correct. Well, I, I mean, you still have well, the time that yes. the event starts, but you, you would gain no, more time back. But I'm saying, like, if, right now, if you're late for something, you would get on the road and drive fast to try to make it. Right. The second you commit to driving, you're going to arrive instantly on from time. that moment. Yeah. So yes. you could drive you could go super five miles an hour if you yeah, wanted. You could uh, walk. cause many accidents. Would you take advantage of that loophole? Let's say you were going to go to New York, and you're like, I could just walk. No, because I'd and be you, very tired. And you get more time. In the end here. Yeah, let's make the a one, decision. The one thing that I think is being lost yeah. is that one of these comes with freaking teleportation. <laughs> like, <laughs> of course I'm taking – whatever the, the hardships are that I can teleport, I'm taking that. What if it – okay, but no family. Perfect. <laughs> I mean, now we're talking. Now, does that mean if you have to go to the bathroom? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm you there. would teleport there, but then like people think you're gone three times as long. That's right. 
Oh, uh, that's that'd be a problem for you. Yeah, that'd be a thirty minute. Uh, that'd be a thirty minute poop ski. <laughs> All right, uh, I guess I'll go. Thirty. With- <laughs> come on, <laughs> come on. That was a, that was that was. It's a, a ninety minute. That's a ninety. <laughs> Uh, Jen from Patreon, would you rather have the ability to turn any surface into a trampoline Ooh. or make any body of water solid ground oh. for you to walk on? How practical is that? Uh, look, you're never going to slip in a puddle again. I have never slipped in a puddle before. People do. It's, it's rampant through the country. I don't, I don't a lot think of, I, Oh, you're talking about the puddlers? Yeah, people slipping in puddles all over the place. I You've mean, never... like. I've slipped. Yeah, I mean, maybe you've never like you didn't fully eat it, right? But you've had that moment where you 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 hydroplane and you go, oh no, no, That's but the- you're still gonna have that happen because you have to make a decision to make. Th- so like you see puddles and you're like, well, solid, solid, <laughs> solid, solid. I mean, you have to premeditate okay. it. All right, all right. I was just, I'm trying to find a something good about it. Well, if you lived in a state a state like uh, around a bunch of lakes. It would also be impractical and not helpful. There's no purpose to turning the water into solid ground to walk on. Like, I mean, the, the, yeah, let's the, think of that. Here's Is the actual any purpose? purpose. Here's the purpose. Shh. Oh, man, I really have to cross this river. <laughs> so in that situation, thank goodness I have this power where I can walk across this river. Personally, I haven't needed to ford a, ford? Ford a river. Yeah. yeah. So, now, right? what about yeah, if like you were- Oregon Trail style? Yeah. Would this have helped? The people on the Titanic? Oh, yeah. Well, at least one of them, whoever had the superpower. Uh, Okay, but, I mean, that would probably benefit everybody around them, right? Not the people already in the water there. Oh, no. (laughs) Oh, yeah. (laughs) Now they're they're halved. We both did sound effects for it. We should be ashamed of ourselves. Yeah, well, this is an audio production, (laughs) and I wanted to make sure that they understood that, you know, the- uh, The ice would trap them. Would sever them. Oh, they'd be- (laughs) Yeah, so- If you were lost at sea- and you're in that like raft scenario, and then everything's just solid. You've got a long way to walk. Like you're dying. Oh, anyway. you're oh, still yeah, dead. You're, yeah, you're dying with no chance of getting the fish under the ice. <laughs> right. Under the solid ground. Or under the. You've oh, also is, killed all the fish. It is solid ground. Yeah. How it? far down does the ground go? I yeah, think if foot. you. Oh really? Yeah. It's just so it's the it's so like now a you're sinking again. <laughs> you're on solid ground that's just sinking. No, further. it's like uh, you know, it's superpower. <laughs> okay. All like, right. What was the other b- power? Oh, the trampoline! trampoline. Yeah, Something that is far more relevant. That's awesome. Yeah. I could, I will, I will dunk a basket. I don't think you're going to use that very often. Oh, I'm going to use uh, it all. Do you know what time. trampolines are for? For people over thirty, way different ways to throw your back out. That's yeah. all they are. Yeah, I, there are I ways to throw. I other dare you to not backs. get hurt on a trampoline. I'm not going to make me be on the trampoline. I'm going to make other people be on the trampoline. Any surface I want. I'm you're tra- going to make other people have to be on a trampoline yeah you know where your monitor is right now on your desk yeah. your desk surface is a trampoline now <laughs> yeah you but want the not, power to knock just, my desk over it's just gonna sit there though you have the power to ruin my desk right now yeah. no i don't have the power to make your desk into a trampoline wait the desk becomes a trampoline the surface the surface of your desk that is one of the dumbest things i've ever heard i look now, i didn't come up with the question now we we may have a loophole here because it's any surface like are are we considering like the the surface of the water is that a surface so if i go trampoline can i turn the water into a trampoline can you go back and forth so you trampoline then you oh, remove the it water. and then you splash yeah. and do it just again gnarly cannonballs let's take that one i'm just saying like why turn it into ground when i could turn it into trampoline i right. might be able to get back from like that whole raft stuck at sea if the ground was trampoline and I could bounce my back, okay. my way back to shore. I think you could bounce faster, farther than walking. Hmm. This one's dumb. <laughs> I would agree with that. <laughs> First time ever, dumb question on this show. Russ from the website: Would you rather be able to conjure any fictional vehicle into existence as your vehicle for life, or summon any fictional person or creature as a companion for a day? Any fictional vehicle. So we're saying like we get the, the the time machine, the DeLorean. The Millennium Falcon. Yeah. Okay. What about that? Oh, uh, yeah, so we're forgetting space travel in here? Yeah, That's I mean, pretty cool. You, you, you care more about space travel than time travel? Um, well. Quick aside. Okay. What, what would you pick? Space time travel, travel time or, travel? Yeah. Time travel or space travel? So have, I don't know if it's been brought up on this show, but 
time travel has to also include space travel. Like real time travel does. Yeah, yes. Because, real time travel you can only go into the future. Well, no, you can't even go into the future. I'm saying with space travel. Yes, yes. Yeah, with I'm, space I'm travel saying, allows you to do that. Because if you're like, I want to be here in 60 years time, well, if I do that, the Earth will no longer be where I am standing because the Earth is moving through the universe. So you have to have some sort of, of space travel built into time travel. Sure, but the DeLorean already has that, obviously. <laughs> so I think we're good on the... Uh, DeLorean from what I, my research, and it's just about... It's very hard. It's very small. Car. My research is about three hours worth. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And from what I see, it has a tremendous amount of potential issues that you will have to resolve in a desperate fashion to return to where you want to be. Yeah. Like it doesn't ever go smoothly. You don't just zip around time. You might, I don't know, pop the gas tank in an era when you can't get gas, for instance. Or, you know have any kind of car problem that I will not be able to fix because I can't fix cars. Right. I have a flat tire. <laughs> I'm stuck in the 1800s. <laughs> We're doomed. That would really, yeah, that would be a problem. I mean, the truth is, if you got a flat tire in the 1800s. Can you get to 88 miles an hour no, flat tire? No, you're toast. Uh, well, I mean, you, you need to you put get, it on yeah, a train. I need to put it on a train. Yeah, but okay. also, roll it down a hill. Also, the DeLorean, these are... I mean, these were cars built in the 80s. These are not cars built for the modern man. We can't fit. No. No, no. I have, we, We've all sat in a DeLorean. Yeah. And I can't imagine having to drive that. There's actually a ton of people with DeLoreans stuck in the past right now <laughs> that are just too tall. They just couldn't get <laughs> they back. They couldn't get back. I hurt my back. Abraham Lincoln wanted to come <laughs> to the future. He can't. Oh. It's impossible. You just got to ride with the door open. Uh, the vehicle you get for life, the fictional person or creature as a companion for a day, you know, it's hard when you conditionalize it to a day. Like, is there anybody that you could get so much value from in one day? I, 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 I think. I mean, you could have a dragon for a day, right? It's a fictional companion. Yeah, you could cause a lot of mayhem with that. I, I feel like we should uh, level this and have it just be this be the same for both. Because I don't, I don't, I don't think it's unfair to have both forever okay so a fictional person or creature as a companion for life or this vehicle mm -hmm. but i think the vehicle like if you take away time travel in the delorean are you even considering that one if you take <laughs> away time travel just i could just DeLorean. go buy a delorean <laughs> no i'm not considering that <laughs> No, I didn't say from the DeLorean. Oh, I just I was here. Yeah, I too. said and, like time travel and the DeLorean as that one fictional vehicle. If that's removed and you're just thinking of the other practical Oh, there's, that's what I meant. There's like, so many vehicles that I would choose over any fictional character. Now, you have to figure out how to drive it. It I don't know that it's gonna come with a manual. Yeah, they're always flipping switches in those things. And man. there's always like spaceships, you got a bunch of people in if there. If you put me in the Millennium Falcon, I ain't mean, never taking no, off. The, I'm not even. We're not even getting it on. Whereas, if how do you, you get in? Uh, yeah, how do you open the door? Where is the door? How do you? <laughs> now you could get that answer from your companion, a Wookie that you bring. No, I but would. He, you wouldn't have the. You wouldn't have the. Spaceship. I would like to believe that if I got the Millennium Falcon, I it's gonna it's gonna be humongous. But I get a I get a user manual. Okay, it exists, so I can. I I'm can taking read. the person. Uh, the, these people will build me these things. I'll take a companion that will be able to, I mean, I can take Doc Brown with me and then we're good. He did oh, it once. He can do it. Pole. He could do it again. Uh, and then you can say, Doc, like, let's go with like a midsize sedan. <laughs> right, Absolutely. Right. <laughs> like, I know, like, I understand you want to do it with, with style a and everything. A time machine. But, it, but it's like. Out of a Sonata? Yeah, like, I, just, I, need, I need a car that's reliable <laughs> and I fit. Yeah. <laughs> Most importantly. <laughs> I gotta fit in this I need car. To fit in this vehicle. <laughs> also, I'd like to take some more people with me. Can we make it a van? That's right. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Doc Brown was like, I'm not time traveling with anybody. This does does is, a DeLorean it, even have a back seat? Here's I'm not the, really. No, it doesn't. Here's a the, functional back seat. No, I should say. I don't know. It's Here, for a here's brief the, case. Here's the problem I have with the character, and 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 maybe this will uh, answer it because you said okay. You will bring Doc Brown back, and so he can make you a DeLorean. He can't. But just bringing him into your life, 
Why would he do that? Like that doesn't like well, if he's, I, he's your companion according yeah, to the question. I know, but I'm just saying like if I chose Dumbledore, d- d- does he just do anything I tell him to do? Like, hey, I want you if to you need it, clean he would. my house. Yeah, he's help he's you a out. Companion, he's a, a traveling. He partner. He wouldn't do the house thing if he needed to teach you like, I don't know, self discipline and stuff. Yeah, like he's, he's your a, companion. He's a, he's a friend. Um. Okay. So I I'm gonna go with the companion. You guys, you going with the vehicles? If I get a manual, and I can. Oh, what about like the Death Star? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Bigger. <laughs> I was thinking like the Borg. You know, some yeah, the Death Star. I mean, come on. Jason's I'm, alone in the Borg <laughs> spaceship in the middle of space, um, and it's giant. Hello? I regret my choice. <laughs> it's freezing in here. So I, I don't know how to turn this on. <laughs> I'm. Where am I going? Can you imagine? When the Starship Enterprise comes oh. and hails that Borg ship, and there's just Jason, and he's all sweaty, and he's just looking at the screen going, guys, I'm all alone in here. I haven't slept in days. Help me. I made a wish on a podcast. But also, resistance is futile. <laughs> but seriously, yeah. take me out of here. There's got to be a better vehicle that's like a one-person vehicle. Like the like, like the like the Boba Fett uh, Yeah, ship? L- sure. Or uh, the Batwing. Is that okay. what it's called? Yeah, the the, I did the Batman. Think, plane? I honestly thought of the Batwing <laughs> with oh, this man. question. Yeah. The Batwing in the uh, the original That's Batman. That's the movie. one. Yeah. That thing was so cool. It was so cool. It's so good at like cutting balloon strings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why why was that built into the ship? I know. At what point was he like, you know what? The front of my fighter jet needs some industrial scissors. <laughs> <laughs> There may come a time. I want, I want my I ship to have a bayonet <laughs> yeah. in case I wanted to really ram something. And- oh, it was it was <laughs> cool though, man. <laughs> I've never I've never questioned that moment until now, and it makes no sense. No, if there's ever a poisonous <laughs> balloon, what could you do with the magic school bus? <clears throat> now that would be, dude, that okay. would be great. Okay, you can get bigger, smaller. Now you have to go yeah. on an adventure with it. Well, yeah, I only want adventures. <laughs> This is great, but I know how to drive a school bus. He just takes kids to school. <laughs> They're all waiting for an adventure. He's like, get off. It's the biggest adventure of all. Life, children. <laughs> See right. ya. <laughs> See ya. I'll be back at 3 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Frizzle's a real son of a gun. All right, we're moving on. Today's show is brought to you by our friends at Masterclass. If you're anything like me, you still like getting your learn on out there. I mean, there's it's a big world, and there's so much to learn about. Like the other day, I'm watching a Masterclass from Chris Hadfield, former commander of the International Space Station. I mean, that's, that's big time right there. And this guy, he's teaching me how rockets work. And it's just an incredible source, an incredible topic that is near and dear to my heart. Masterclass has something for everybody. You can learn from the best to become your best anytime, anywhere, and at your own pace. Annual memberships start at just $10 a month, and you get unlimited access to every instructor, thousands of online lessons, exclusive content, and more. We're talking over 180 classes to pick from. Like, Are you into space like me? The Chris Hadfield is there. Neil deGrasse Tyson is in here talking about scientific thinking and communication. Our dude, Bill Nye, talking about science and problem solving. Whatever you are into, cooking, like Dr. Jane Goodall's on here talking about conservation. I mean, I am telling you on Masterclass, whatever you want to learn about, the subject is there, and there is a high-level instructor that you know you're going to get good information. Gain new skills in as little as 10 minutes, either on your phone, computer, tablet, smart TV, or even audio mode to listen on the go. Get unlimited access to every class, and right now, as a Spitballers listener, you can get 15% off when you go to masterclass.com slash ballers. That's masterclass.com slash ballers for 15% off an annual membership. Masterclass.com slash ballers. What's the difference between me and you? All right, we have a lot of these today. What's the difference <laughs> between a rind, a peel, Ooh. and a skin when you're talking about fruits and vegetables? Okay. Now, a rind, uh, am I correct in the first thought that I had that was like an orange 
Oh, that's a peel. Well, no, I but feel- after you, you take, <laughs> take, oh, no. The when rind you- has to be the butt. What? Yeah, like, I think, like, where it comes together, you know, you got the peel uh-huh. of the orange, okay. but where the, where it comes together at the little point. You saying there's a fruit butt? Yeah, I'm saying there's a fruit butt. <laughs> no, I, I mean, I know exactly what part you you're talking about. You know what I'm about. talking about. You start peeling no, it, it, it at the an, butt. I think a rind, I think that that's what it is. An orange peel is a rind. Yeah, All of it. Once you once you <clears throat> take it off, then it becomes the rind? Well, it's a peel until it's removed, then it, then you leave the... No, because you can leave orange peels around. Yeah. Oh, gosh. I'm telling you, the, the, the rind is the butt part of the peel. That's how I view it. You so, think that some of it's peel and some of it's rind? Yeah, yeah. Where I do. do you find? Where, where where does it transition into yeah. rind? Is it connected to the butt? Well, it's, well, all, it's connected all connected to the butt. Not once you rip it off. That's what we were saying. That it becomes the rind. Then it becomes peels, and there's a piece with the that's a rind. That's got a fruit butt. <laughs> the one that I've never have. even heard of a fruit butt. Oh yes, you have. Yeah, you've the heard bananas. Of the, the ban- <laughs> We've brought the that end up of on. The now banana. banana, it's a peel. You slip on yes. a banana peel. Right. Nobody th- says, hey, throw that rind over here, and he'll slip okay. on it. So does it have to be a citrus? I think it has to be citrus. I think a rind can only exist in the world of citrus. What's the watermelon? Is that a watermelon? Oh, no, Is that the rind? That's a rind. That's a rind, it's right? It's a citrus. Watermelon's, watermelon's a citrus? not a citrus? No. You fool. No, it's <laughs> I don't think it's a watermelon rind because you don't. There's no peel. That's, yeah, it's a watermelon. No, you yeah. can't. You have to be able to peel it off. You can't peel a watermelon. I think oranges don't you, have rinds. But you eat it down to the rind. I think a watermelon but, has a rind. You eat it down to the. Now is the rind? Uh, is it? Is it the green part or the no the, the white, white part? The white and the green. Yeah, I think it's all of it. It's the, the whole green's thing? part of the shell. <laughs> yeah. We now the skin of a fruit. I mean, there, there's no skin. Yeah, well, there's like, skin. Like a grape has. Oh crap. Yeah, if it's, the, if it's uh, not, you got to be able to bite through it. You got skin. You can bite through. You can right? always bite through. How about skin? apple peels? Because they say peeling an apple, oh, which man. you can also eat. Yeah, but, but it's that's the, but it's also the skin. <laughs> it's definitely skin. The apple skin. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, All right. Okay. Potato I, look, skin. Look, I've got it. Yes. They're called potato skins. Not you want some fried potato rinds? It, I, oh wait, they do call it that. Oh man. Don't they? This pork a, rinds. This What's a pork rind? rind? Oh uh, that, man. A, well, that's, that's that's the butt of the pork, <laughs> the pig pig butt. I thought it was it's the skin of the pig. So there's a rind skin peel. Situation? What is the difference I between a rind uh, peel and some skin? Okay, so skin Weird. is obviously thin. It's real thin. thin. Skin is thin. Rind yeah. is the thickest. behind. Rind is behind. Skin is thin. Rind is the thickest. Uh, th- the the skin is the thinnest, and anything that you can remove by itself becomes a peel okay like you could peel an apple you could peel the skin of an you apple can peel an you apple. don't peel, peel a banana you don't peel a rind of a watermelon no right no. so that's never becomes the peel. yeah but you peel an orange and you're telling me that they're both yeah because the <laughs> the, the the you can peel <laughs> all right i'm cheating a rind yeah. is a thick, hard, and tough outer covering. Okay. Yeah. So far, so yeah, good. Yeah, that good. occurs naturally on fruits, plants, animals, and cheeses. Rinds are usually inedible. Right. Yeah. Oh, the edibility. And protect the fruit of the plant. Okay, but what about a peel? Especially citrus fruit. Okay. Yeah. So, oh, all right. We did all right there. Yeah. We. I feel like we crushed that. Interesting. But what is a peel? Also, the definition of a peel, you're going to love this. A rind? Also known as a rind or skin. That's this was a I trick said. question. No, I said, because it's if you can remove it, then it's then it's a peel. It's not what you said because you're-, you're This was a trap. Yeah, because the peel is also known as a rind or skin, which guess what? That also means a rind or skin is known as a peel, which means that they're all the same. No. Mm-mm. Yeah, that's what that says. Mm-mm. No, well, it, outer works, protect- it works in one direction. Oh, that I, doesn't mean a rind is skin. But yes, it does. I don't believe. I, don't. I mean, that's what the words say. I, if you throw them out, then it doesn't. I've removed myself from okay. this. Dumb question. I don't know what's going on. Uh, they're all the same. What's the difference between a graveyard and a cemetery? Is it spooky level? So Is the fence dilapidated in a graveyard but not a cemetery? Yeah, cemetery is where you go. To 
visit loved ones to uh you know to oh, bury loved ones okay you know that the cemetery is uh, you know respectable you have, you have like crypts in a cemetery a right c- a cemetery is like uh, un- Real, you unfortunately fancy. we've all been to a cemetery oh fortunately <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. I don't know why. It's I'm just saying, like, you know, that's where human Trust beings. Me, they deserve it. That's where human beings go. I've personally never been to a graveyard. I think a graveyard uh, can okay. only be a place that no one would visit because they don't even know who's there. Exactly right. Also, definitely haunted, without a doubt. That is required. A graveyard is haunted. It starts haunted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A cemetery, can it ever become a graveyard if, if no family members exist? For the people and visit in a certain amount of years. Once the ghosts move in, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and the ghosts cemetery, stay away because people visit. Right. Exactly right. But if you uh, graveyards were abandoned, yes, they you know they might have no started as a cemetery, use. yeah, but they become a haunted, abandoned graveyard. Is it they come? Uh, they become abandoned because they're full or just lost into time? L- lost into time. Once three years passes. And no family members visit any of the graves. Mm-hmm. The ghosts feel like they can come out, mm-hmm. hang out, haunt it and everything, because they love that. Yeah, and then someone stumbles upon a graveyard. You're not like, hey, can, you want to go to the graveyard? Can you, you like, oh, yeah. where am I? Oh, no, Would you I'm get in a graveyard. You were on the way home, and you right. s- you accidentally. What about zombies? Zombies. Uh, they come out of a graveyard. They come out of a graveyard. They yeah. can't come out of the cemetery. Correct. No. If they come out of a cemetery, it is instantly a graveyard. Ooh, that's a loss of value. That's what. That's right. What, is that the first thing that happens at the three-year mark? <laughs> the hand, one hand comes one up hand. Yeah. and releases the ghost. I told you to visit me. <laughs> what is the difference between a goblet, a chalice, and a grail? Okay. One of these is holy. Okay. The, the grail? The grail. Which okay. one? <laughs> the, the holy choose, goblet. Choose wisely. <laughs> the chalice. Oh, it's got to be fancy. I feel like a chalice holds more. Does it? Yeah, you could have cereal out of a chalice. Really? You certainly you certainly could. You certainly could in a chalice. <laughs> uh, a goblet. Does a goblet have uh, some jewels? Jewels. 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 Yeah, does, okay, I thought a chalice was. Does a chalice have. Smooth. Wait. Gold. So. Goblet, wait, goblet Cereal. of fire, right? There is yeah, Harry Potter's yep, a goblet of fire. What does it look like? Fire. Uh, it's an ornate, decorative, almost almost looks like a trophy. Uh, with, does it have handles? It does. In that one, it does have handles. Yeah, it does. The goblet. Okay. It, it, yeah, and they. Um, what do, What do they give away when you win a cup for something? They give away a cup. Yeah, I think it's called a cup. Yeah, but, okay. like a championship cup. It's not the world chalice <laughs> for soccer. Yeah. The, and they won the world chalice. It's a cup. Right? Never mind about the cup then. Uh, I definitely think <clears throat> that a goblet has to have some kind of jewel. If you don't have like so a, what does a, a decorative, chalice have? Because uh, I thought a chalice would have jewels. I've always thought a chalice had just a uh, just a bigger opening. I've never heard of a chalice. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, I, when I hear chalice, I'm thinking of some like oh, gosh. something you wear. And so I'm, I think oh. I think maybe those two are pretty synonymous. A chalice and a goblet. Those could just be, you know, it could be like the whole East Coast, West Coast calls the same thing, something different. Okay. Well, but we're here to define it. No, for I know. The people. I know, but I and I, I I really feel like a goblet is fancier. If you if I want if you want wine, what do you want to drink it out of these three? A chalice, a goblet, or a grail? Well, definitely the grail. Because of eternal because of life. eternal life and youth, <laughs> but we know that grails can be, like, if it doesn't give you eternal life, it could be very like, it could just look like a cup. Yeah, I think there is only one grail. <laughs> I mean, am I wrong? Are there lots of grails out there? I don't know. I think there's just the holy grail, and and you're you're grabbing chalices and goblets, hoping it's the just one. Just all willy nilly. Yeah, but then so something is one of them's a grail. One. Uh, it's is one a of grail. one. One of. All of them. Yep. And the goblets and chalices, they're just competing. They're competing. Chalices you can eat cereal out of. Goblets are decorative. This one's important to me. Uh, what is the difference between nodding off, drifting off, dozing off, and falling asleep? Well, I mean, okay. we know what falling asleep yeah. is. So nodding off, your head is mm-hmm. definitely falling forward. Mm-hmm. You, you're, you're in a you, seated it is, position. It is a nod movement well 100 percent. you are you have it's to one have singular nod <laughs> now can you go you can go from nodding off to fully asleep or do you always do you always wake up at the last moment because your head is falling forward so you usually you usually 
will wake up. But it, yes. it, you you clarified something there. It is always forward. Nodding off is forward. You can't mm -hmm. nod off backwards. That's drifting, right? Yeah, that's right. You're drifting off if your head falls backwards. Now, is dozing, are you in a prone position like you were going to – like you laid on a bed, you didn't plan on sleeping. Exactly. And then you start going, uh-oh. Yeah, your head doesn't move anywhere. Your head stays exactly where it was. You just weren't expecting this. Yeah, and you, when people ask if you were asleep, you respond, definitely not. <laughs> of course. No, I, no, I no, was I just dozing. I've been awake the whole time <laughs> yes. is what you say. Yeah, and I they just, say, you were snoring for five minutes. I said, no, I was I was awake. <laughs> I remember every second. <laughs> just, just a little just, dozing. Just dozed off. <laughs> How often? Why do we do that? I do, the, I do this all the time. You mean the, like it's a bad thing to yeah. have fallen asleep? You're like, yeah. Never. <laughs> Because, I would never do that. Because, I, I think because you feel attacked. You yeah. feel attacked you're like, because what, are you falling asleep. You're like, no. You're like, yes, I, I was. It does make sense because I'm sleepy. <laughs> I got caught because in the middle, guilty as charged. Because you know you're in trouble if you nap in the middle of the day. <laughs> you can't just say, "I'm gonna go take a nap." Enjoy the kids, honey. But I've even had it like watching the the late night show. With, with with the wife. Mm -hmm. Yeah. An acceptable time to yeah. fall asleep. Which, yeah, it's pretty normal. Oh, it ain't acceptable the, in my the, house. The sun is gone. It is, my my body would be very happy to go to mm -hmm. sleep. I'm making myself stay up, but then I, I doze off and then I'm I'm attacked. Yeah. For, what were you, you fell asleep. Read the plot back. No. Read the plot back yeah. to me. Yeah. <laughs> what was the, what did she say? So, uh, I'm, let's, look. This is we use our we're trying platform. to normalize. No, yeah, we're sleeping. Just, we're just use our platform of of don't attack someone if they fall asleep. That's hard to it's hard to follow that because I've been on the other you do side. It? Yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, did you fall asleep? Did you you know what I mean? Like we were watching that show. I what would, are you a baby? <laughs> I would never have done that. Here's what's really crazy, and I don't know how to replicate it. If you could figure it out for a device, but. To me, the sweetest sleep ever is the illegal sleep. Oh, mm. it's the sleep. Sneak when sleep. Sleep. It's when I'm. It, it is, is so sweet. It's the sleep when I am watching the show, and I go. I decide I'm going to watch it sideways. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to get the pillow. Never catch me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really into the show, and I have lied so many times. <laughs> so many times I've been like, "She's like, are you still awake?" And I'm like, "Yeah." <laughs> and the last yeah totally but then the next night you want to like work out or something <laughs> like I'm, I'm ready to go for a new day <laughs> the next night we're watching the same show the oh, next episode you don't remember and I'll be like, anything <laughs> I'm like, how did he get over there what happened to that guy uh, and she yeah. goes i thought you were awake i was like i know i was but i just forgot <laughs> i'm just trying to make sure that you know <laughs> i was awake i just have a bad memory so, yeah you remember what happened and then to i'll be just... like oh yeah i remember i remember <laughs> Just go back to the middle of the last episode you again. Know what, let's, let's, I loved it so much. Let's just start that one over. Sometimes I'll sneak in early and watch a little bit of the last no. one. Yeah, And she'll course. walk in and I'll go, I'll just refresh it. <laughs> oh, so funny. And it's so true. So you true. You do your own previously. <laughs> yeah, I do my own previously. So previously on. <laughs> Remind me. Yeah, I just need a quick 30-minute catch-up. <laughs> there should be two previously. One is the regular one, and once the did you miss the last half? And then it just goes to the last half <laughs> of the previous episode. It just goes to, did you doze off? <laughs> <laughs> Click here. Doze preview or, or previously on? Oh, my goodness. Oh, Brooksy, does this happen in your house? Do you guys ever doze off in the middle of a show? No, we don't shame each other. When we, what do you, oh, we, do, we just stop it. Look at us. They're not tired enough over there without the yeah. kids. <laughs> Dozing's for people with kids, <laughs> man. Yeah, I don't know if you can doze off without kids. No, it's just called a nice nap. Yeah, that's <laughs> the middle of like, the afternoon. They're not ashamed. They're like, I was tired. I took a nap. <laughs> yeah, we're just, trying to act all strong. Like, oh, I'll never be. I'll never be tired. It's the guilt. <laughs> I should be parenting, but I'm asleep. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, goodness. So there you go. That's like, your answer. And I would have slept more if you would have just let me go to sleep. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but I was awake. <laughs> yeah. I, just, I mean, I wasn't asleep. I was man. awake watching the show. If I could sleep with my eyes open, man. <laughs> That'd be so cool. Oh, all right. Well, there you go. We're We're moving on to the draft. You got your answer. The Spitballers Draft. I have missed half of every show I've ever watched. <laughs>
You, you, why do you they never have... finish these things? <laughs> Nothing's <laughs> ever resolved. No, don't look at all the plot holes. <laughs> They really jumped the shark when they went from those guys being alive to none of them. I can't believe they didn't end up together. Yeah. You know, they just stayed apart, and then. Oh know. man! <laughs> yeah, when's when's Ben coming back to the show? Ben died. <laughs> they needed cliff notes for movies. Five minutes. All right, we are drafting extinct technology, and. Um, this is a fun one. I, I didn't realize how many things would be on my list from days gone by. We talked about it at the top. Things were invented. They changed the world. And then they went away. And um, we all, oftentimes people romanticize the things of old until they go use them again. I, I had a friend who kind of despised the um, smartphone world because just notifications yeah, and yeah, technology. Yeah. And so uh, he just told me this like last week. He's like, I just can't take the texts and everything. And like, people shouldn't be able to get a hold of me every second. So he went and he got a flip phone and did the flip phone thing mm -hmm. with conviction. And then about three or four days in, he had to go to a softball game and the guy was texting the address to everybody and he had to print out on MapQuest <laughs> and he's driving around in the car holding a printout going, this ain't going to work in my life and went back to a smartphone in a week. MapQuest still out I think there? it's still out there. Yeah. Oh, let me take wow. that off my list then. <laughs> All right. Um, I'll, I've got, Mike, the, first you got pick. the first pick. Yeah. Uh, this one was near and dear to my heart. Um, got to grow up with the previous version of the tech, but when we changed to the compact disc, this was everything like the, you, you, if you wanted to bring your music collection with you, you had to bring a gigantic binder of CDs which was now always at risk of being stolen, and then you have no more music. So the pick is CD. I am going to take the compact disc. That's the yeah. I always remember the uh, speaking of businesses that are defunct now, but the uh, the visor in your car, you know the the right, sun yeah, yeah. visor, and you uh -huh. you'd hook that oh, CD yeah. thing up, uh -huh. and you could slip like ten, twelve CD CDs were being stolen left and right across this country. Yeah, I, I, CDs it, is a great pick. It's a great pick. It is perfect from our upbringing where we were past the cassette tapes i mean that's what I, like i did yeah. a lot of cassette tapes when i when i was younger and like getting into the cds where you're like wait i can just go to the next song yeah <laughs> this is amazing it, and this is exactly what i'm doing you're the music man i'm a movie man so for <laughs> me it's the exact same thing these are technically still around sure if you're driving in your car maybe but DVDs are... Oh, you just, you, uh, you didn't I, even go further back. I didn't go for no. VHS because... Don't forget to rewind. <laughs> yeah, because DVDs are the same thing. Yeah. Like it, was, it was incredible technology when it came out. Yeah. So much better looking. You, you, know, uh, you, you don't have to rewind. It's not going to degrade over time. It'll last forever. Lies, <laughs> scratches. But, I mean, it was so incredible. And then, because it's going to last forever, and, and this technology will never go away... You collect them. You know, you just buy them and you have bookshelves, literal eight foot tall, you know, five feet wide bookshelves yes, filled. You, yes. You sort oh, them man. alphabetically. There were huge sections of the aforementioned Best Buy that was just dedicated to uh, cabinets. Yeah. How do I store all of these DVDs? Yeah. And I, it, I mean, I loved having a does DVD that, collection. I was going to say, does that, you know, we talk about everything gets better. But DVDs, you'd, you'd go to Blockbuster to, to browse them, and then you'd store them and you could display them. Mm -hmm. Now everything's digital. Like, Well, and you don't even buy them anymore. Like, You still can. You can buy them so you don't have to rent them again, which is usually just a bad investment. But you know, it's like now you don't really re-watch movies quite as often because- There's too much to watch. Well, yeah, there's you, you can watch anything. Uh, you don't have to re-watch, but it used to be like, Here's what I have. Yeah, I, right. I've yeah, got yeah. these twenty. Which one do I want to watch? All right. Uh, I. Do you know what DVD stands for? Digital video disc. That's what I would have guessed. Digital versatile disc. Oh. Which it wasn't all that versatile. It just. Well, I mean, it was versatile as in like you can put in. You can just. It doesn't have to be a a playable movie. Like you can put a game on it. You can put files on it. Sure, but it's versatile. You can do that with CDs too. Yes. All right, so you guys went with uh, CDs, DVDs. You like things that are round. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess 
I guess I'm going to go with the technology that kind of, um, I don't know, it was like the first man on the moon of the internet, so to speak. Oh, yeah. And so I'm going to go with dial-up modems. Yeah, for sure. It, an iconic sound. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and when someone's using it. like a dying pet. Your phone, uh, <laughs> your phone is used and you're dialing up and no one else can use the phone. So I am, I'm downloading. You've cut off contact to your home. And I'll I'll, for, I'll forever remember when I, when you signed up, you had to pick the number you'd dial. Yes. And, oh, I forgot yeah. about that. And it was that. always like you picked a local number, and I went to pick a number, and I accidentally chose Alabama instead of Arizona, where we live, which meant for the entire month of internet, I was long distance <laughs> oh calling God. Alabama. Long distance calling could also be one of these <laughs> yeah. dead texts. And uh, the bill was very, very large for my father that month. But I will go with dial-up modems to yeah. get the first uh, chance to get on the this internet. is number two on my list. And then I'm going to go with something a little bit more um, super useful. Uh, some of it is just kind of that romanticized view of using it. But I'm going to go with the typewriter. Oh, yeah. yeah I'm going to yeah. go with the typewriter, the okay. bridge between computers and handwritten items. The uh, the classic typewriter. I We actually are of the age where we grew up with uh, pre-computers. I And owned, I had a typewriter. Yeah, I owned a typewriter. I, I was a Did you ever use one? Never. We, oh. were, we were very futuristic. The best part of a typewriter a was that if you messed up, you would go back and you'd slip this little thin uh piece of white uh basically it Ribble. held white ink and you'd slip it in there and you'd type the same letter that you messed up uh. and then it would punch the white onto that exact spot so you could rewrite how long did you have to wait before it to oh dry? it wasn't like wet it was almost like a dry oh. uh it was like a dry interesting powder that went onto there hmm. but it, it was the uh typewriter typewriters then they look cool they, like they, there's a yeah, lot of they, cool looking old typewriters. They definitely looked cool. There was a there was a bridge, a short lived bridge that we also had. Electronic at, typewriters. Yeah, the the uh, word, word processor. processor. Oh, yeah. And yes. it was like a computerized typewriter where you could just go back. But all it did, like it, it only did one thing, and that was put words process on words. Paper. Um, but that thing was uh, the typewriter is gorgeous. You know what I mean? Like yeah. It, it oh, yeah. looks cool. Like you could the, you the could word one... processor looked like a monster. Yeah, you could put a typewriter in your house as like a decorative piece right now. Yeah, for sure. Okay, I know what I'm going to draft here because as soon as you said that you thought it like looked cool and you know almost had some nostalgia and feelings and was very practical, I got worried you were going to draft this. I didn't think I'd draft this this high, but I want this. I saw one in real life. Uh, in the wild. I saw one in the wild. <laughs> Within the last year, I forget where we were. We were somewhere in California, and it was just wild. And they used to be everywhere. Oh, no, this is my pick. Pay phones. It was, that was legit my pick. Yeah, I mean. It's on my list, too. Pay phones were unfathomably important. Every corner. You, you, they were Every absolutely movie theater. everywhere, and you had to use them because you did, cell phones didn't exist, so you couldn't call someone. Without when a payphone, you, when you were out of your house, unless you went and put a quarter in a payphone machine and knew or, memorized people's phone number, or you call collect. Yeah, I remember. Which call and collect is very funny. There, somebody at that company was like, "We have the mother load." I remember one eight hundred collect many collect phone calls because the final quarters were spent at the arcade, <laughs> and I did not plan ahead. So when you call collect, somebody had to answer and, and agree to accept yeah. the charge. Yes, that's why you had the the commercials of oh. the. Uh, uh, would you accept a phone call from We Had a Baby Eats a Boy? <laughs> that's right. I remember. And that. Then you uh, say no, thank no. You. Yeah, they had a baby. It's a boy. <laughs> that's a great commercial. All right, good pick. Uh, now the question is: When you were out there. How did you know that you needed to go? Oh yeah, this is. I was. I thought I was going to draft this one ahead of pay phones, but yes. How did you know you needed to go call a phone number? And it's because you got a special fancy <laughs> electronic message on your pager. Yeah. And what could the pager show you? Beep beep. beep it beep. could show you phone numbers. Phone and numbers. It, just numbers. Just yeah. numbers. Because sometimes it would say nine one one. Yes. And that's you call me right now. Yeah. Sometimes it would say. 
I love you, if you turned it upside down. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it would say naughty words that your friends would text you. Yeah. I think you were charged per page. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you had to sign up for a plan. Like up to and, 100 pages a month yeah, or something? Yeah, you had, you had to prepay for the certain amount of, of pages you could get. And if you went over, not good. Did you good. both have pagers? I had Never a, had a pager. I had a pager. My father in, did. I was so jealous. I, w in junior high, we yeah. were We were among the early crowd when it wasn't super- uh, Ooh, were you tech forward? Yeah, we were tech forward on pagers, and our entire family got one. So it was mom, dad, uh, you know, sister and brother- and I remember once we were we were like in a bank or something, and we were all sitting there, and someone got a page, and all four of us just looked down at our <laughs> waist, and the person was like blown away. They're like, "Whoa, you guys all have pages!" Wow, <laughs> wow, <laughs> what a dumb thing! What is what? A, all did of this. A, did you have a cool chain? All of this stuff. No, I, no, I had a cool chain. Uh, all this stuff is so funny because for us and when we grew up, we kind of grew up in the era right before computers, and then obviously we're totally computer nerds now. Um, but these things were just this tiny sliver of being really important for a short period of time. Like pagers didn't have a. Oh yeah, this no, is like yeah, yeah, just a, a blip in history. Yeah. That all we right. remember. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, all right. For my so I have pick number three here, and yes, this this device it still exists. It could be like oh it's cool it's so retro, but it used to be these used to be everywhere. Um, a Polaroid camera. Ooh. Because now of course your phone is your camera, but back before everybody had one of those. And you wanted to get some pictures, like you go to camp, you got someone has to have a Polaroid picture, or so you can bring camera, one home. Or this, everything will remain undocumented. Your parents will have no idea. You said there's you went there, and now you're home. And maybe you called them on a payphone once. In I a definitely while. thought they were so cool. Oh yeah, watching I mean, it develop, shaking it, people would. Which I believe you're not actually supposed to do that. Uh, uh, that pretty, disagree. Pretty sure you're <laughs> supposed to do that. Um, you know, it's funny. So I, I was hoping my next pick was going to be film cameras. Just ah, like when gotcha. you had to, yeah, I, that's off the table now too, too similar. But like when you had to go develop, yes, you were like, yeah. Oh, I took all these pictures. I hope they're good. Yeah. I have no idea yet, but tomorrow I'm going to take the film, which I'm going to go to a place. I'm going to drop it off. And then the next day I'll come back and pick it up and those, see uh, my pictures for the first time. 24 hour. Uh, the, the pharmacies that would develop in 24 hours. Yep. The one day, the one day photo mm -hmm. was like that business must have been so good to them. Which, and then now this is you know maybe old man, but there is like there is something lost. There's something gained, of course, by being able to see your picture. But like when you can see it, and you're just like, nope, we got to do it again. Nope, do it again. Of like, you have to, you got to get the perfect picture because you can see it. You have instant feedback where. Like, uh, uh, my daughter did a camp over the, uh, over summer and my wife found essentially it's a digital, but it's like, uh, you remember the disposable cameras? And so it looks like that, but it, it's all digital, but you just, you, there's no screen. It's just, it's just a camera. So like, you can actually like just snap, just take a quick picture and it exists in your life and you don't get obsessed with. How does the picture actually look right now? Hmm, that's interesting. There's my my kids have started a new app uh, that where it's basically like you you and a group of friends take pictures and it goes into this app, but you can't see them until the roll oh, is, is developed is developed. And so once they're full, so yeah, and where you got taken similar. 30 30 pictures or whatever it is, then 24 hours later you get to see what the picture. That's hilarious. Are. That's kind of fun. Yeah. That's there, funny. Like the the delayed gratification does there's there's some value to it jason you're back on the clock Ooh, i am that's great. that's how the drafts work all right let's see here what do i want so i i i'm gonna go with this one if you'll let me have it now these are oh boy they're well they're still used it's kind of like polaroid cameras like polaroid cameras we we still have one that they, company and the camera still exist yeah they, they're they still around but they're not really used right they've and left that's their prime this this machine used to be super important to all business to every to, okay. to, to yep. 
If you yeah. wanted to get information from one place to another, you would use a fax machine. Of course you can draft that. I mean, <laughs> fax machines are the worst. I'm not even sure you can buy them anymore. Yeah, I mean, they technically still exist. I, I find it funny when I see a business and they've got a fax number. I'm like, who's who's? Faxing? I feel like that's got to be like government and uh, league, like law and stuff and no one else. Yeah, and then you'd... you'd Schools. You'd fax a fax. You know, you'd receive a fax, but then from one party and you'd have to send it to someone else. But every time you got one... It was just the worst quality. So if you fax a fax, you hope you can read that that final output at the uh, end destination. And those also shared the awful dial-up internet sound. I yeah, they did. Yeah, because you'd you'd get the calls when you were younger, and it would be you know it's a fax machine on the other line right. trying to send you a fax through oh, that's your right. we through had, your ear. Oh yeah, I forgot that we had fax machines at home. Wait, you had a fax machine? We, yeah, yeah, we did. What? You didn't yeah, we did too. It was no. like an all-in-one, like four-in-one printer. Yep, copy. Oh. printer fax. Oh. You'd have to set it to fax mode, and then the person could yes. fax you, and you'd get it. Right. Yeah, I guess we did have that. Uh, I'm going to go with the uh, kind of the most iconic selection that is associated with the aforementioned movie store, which is I will go with the VHS tapes. Yes. So I will. Uh, I'll jump in That's there. Jason I took the Jason DVDs. Was I will take the VHS tapes because that is the most like generational. Like you go get the movie, you got to rewind it. You browse the the blockbuster, or the video store. So I just saw a hilarious clip. It was it's Pete Davidson, the former SNL guy, and he was on a talk show and he was talking about that he came up with the idea. He was looking back. He's like, we're at about you know. 20 or so years from the last VHS tape being made. And he's like, so I just started buying them all up. He started buying up all like actual sh shrink wrapped, you know, new VHS oh, tapes. Wow. And he showed, he's like, my, my assistant stores it for me. And he showed a picture of this person. Like there's just this huge stack of, of what, you know, it's like, Oh, this just look like junk. And the the crowd is of course just laughing hilariously. He's like, "Yeah, you laugh now, you laugh now." It's like VHS tapes now are going for like like the real iconic ones. He's like thousands of dollars for a tape, <laughs> and so it's just like, "Oh my gosh, did you seriously pull this off of like of like just being just being a, a little little bit ahead?" Like, look at the uh, you can't go back in time now, but like Super Mario, the if you had an original fully sealed. Super Mario. It's worth crazy amounts of money. The same for like Nintendo 64 games. So it was just really funny that that he those had, are crazy. He hatched this scheme and it's probably going to pay off for him. All right, my final pick is going to be the Walkman. Oh baby, yeah. I'm taking the Walkman because yes. I feel like I, it's like a way of getting cassette tapes at the same time. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. But the Walkman was um, it was a generational. Uh, staple. It was so much better than the disc man. Where, where well, they tried oh, to upgrade they came out to the CD ROM Walkman. It was like, oh, we got a five second no skip. Yeah. you can't, you can't possibly jog with this thing. That oh it, man, I remember the no skip. Oh, that, that a was a big lie. That was a lie. Yeah, yeah, that was like. But then you also were like, let me see if I can make it skip. If it's got the and power. You're like, yeah, I, no, I did. I made a skip. I, <laughs> I took a step <laughs> very easily. Actually, <laughs> I'm taking the Walkman. The Sony Walkman. Yeah, good I'd name, good brand, good marketing. I am so good happy that you did that because I knew what my next pick was going to be, and I thought for sure it was going to come back to me. I didn't. I, I wasn't sure that you would think of this one, but then Mike literally just talked about oh, it. Oh, no. Sorry. Video game cartridges. Yeah, okay. I mean, I miss blowing in that. <laughs> you know, oh, my game's not loading right. <laughs> now it'll work. I've got the special... That's yeah, fun. Everyone had the technique. Oh, That's yeah. fun. Mike, oh, what's yeah. your final pick here? Jason, you have DVDs, pay phones, fax machine, video game cartridges. I have dial-up modem, typewriter, VHS tapes, and the Walkman mic, CDs, pagers, Polaroid camera, and I'm going with if you if you were in the if you were in elementary school in the late eighties, early nineties, how did the teacher show you all the information? Well, they put it on the overhead projector, mm -hmm. baby. Yeah. <laughs> Hold, hold on, kids. Stay there because I'm going to take the next 30 minutes writing on this clear piece of paper or plastic so then you can now copy it. And it was the most inefficient. The overhead projector. It was, it was the evolution from the chalkboard. Yes. Mm -hmm. It was like we are 
tech forward here. At- it, except I don't know that it was better. It Im- probably mm-hmm. wasn't. I like, mean, the teacher didn't. I have did to like write that they turned big. they turned the lights off. Yeah, and they could write normal. They could write with a normal hand, like like you're writing on a piece sure. of paper. Yeah, those were uh, they but, had their window there. But it's like, but if they didn't pre prepare it, it took forever. Yeah, they would. Uh, they yeah, you'd have to write it up there. Did you ever get called up to write an answer on an? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that you was, felt so cool. That it was, was so the, cool. Because it, it was it was awesome tech. I think we, we drafted tech from when we were young. Yeah. <laughs> But it's all extinct now. All right. Uh, any I thought honorary... for sure you were taking a zip drive because you've talked about your zip drives. You know what? Past. Floppy disks yeah. were at the very top of my list, and I just kind of forgot to take it. Floppies on their uh, the dot matrix printer. Oh, yeah. Pull those sides always, off. Well, it was a good oh, time. Oh, that's a good one. Rotary phones. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like. I had house phone. And I, I had some software stuff, like non-Google search engines. Like yeah. Ask yeah. Jeeves and Alta Vista. <laughs> uh, DOS. Like, I wanted a shout out to uh, Morse code, by the way. Uh, <laughs> hey, Morse code is that would have been a good used, pick. Yeah, I think in in like military stuff. I think yeah, it's that's pretty much only used in movies where they need to send a message. Is, oh, is Morse know. code? Oh, you know, you can shout. Is out that to, sent through a telegraph? Is that the same thing? You can it can be. You, it can be, but it telegraph have to can be. send anything. Ye, no, telegraph has to go through phone wire. Right, I but believe. I mean, like you can send any message, right? Or is it only like a code? Or no, you can you you can write out. Send the send the children to the school. Stop. Okay, that's a telegram. <laughs> yes, yeah. is that the same thing as getting a telegram? Tele, it's telegram. Yeah, are yeah. you telegraph? I don't know. Telegraph what, is the machine to, that sends the telegram. I think so. I, I thought a telegram's when someone shows up and sings you happy birthday. That's a singing telegram. Ah, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is going to be it for today's show. Unless you want to share anything you learned really quickly. Oh. I learned that dozing off is only for parents. Oh, that was so funny. <laughs> All right. We'll catch you on the next one. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yep, Thanks for listening to the Spitballers podcast. To see what other nonsense the guys are up to, check out spitballerspod.com.